Macros are predefined sets of information that can be customized and used when documenting for common procedures. Once a macro is executed, the information is automatically written to the anesthesia record for your patient. This greatly reduces the amount of time it takes to manually record the information for every case. Macros are the backbone of the anesthesia application. When the macro is set up well and it's understood well, the documentation is streamlined for the anesthesia provider. The macro should be selected directly after opening the case. This process creates a list of documentation that is pre-charted or sets up a to-do list that is appropriate for certain types of anesthesia or certain types of operation, depending upon your local build. In this list of documentation, you will find expected medications, fluids, monitors, and actions related to the case. To begin, click on the macro icon on the toolbar. You will now see a list of available macros to choose for your case. Become familiar with the macros that have been built at your facility. For today's demonstration, we will use the macro Get Us Simple. The components of the macro will now appear. They are listed with two columns, Execute and To Do. Your task on this screen is to review the components and determine which items will be executed immediately and which tasks will populate to the to-do list. You will see the details of each component by reviewing the Event and Details columns. This process will quickly become second nature as you use the system and become accustomed to your macros. It is recommended that at this point you leave the screen open and retrieve the patient from pre-op. By doing this, you are able to bring the patient into the room, choose Set All Times to Current, which updates time on all actions in the Execute column, and then execute your macro. By doing this, you have timed your documentation to begin at the point of the patient entering the OR.